A hopeless romantic faces deadly consequences when he falls in love with a mermaid. Gaspard Snow gracefully glides on roller skates as he makes his way toward the Flower Burger, a cherished restaurant that his family has passed down for generations. As soon as he arrives, Camille, his father, introduces him to the crowd in preparation for his musical number with the Barbarettes. He claims that Gaspard is a man who's incapable of falling in love even with Parisian beauties. As Gaspard performs, Richard, a loyal customer, enters the Flower Burger. Later, he goes on a stroll and hears a woman singing a lullaby, luring him into the murky waters. As his heart beats rapidly, he submerges into the water and disappears. Meanwhile, Camille reveals to Gaspard their meager earnings from the evening, proving that the restaurant is struggling. He then tells Gaspard about his plans to sell the place, but his son only dismisses the matter. He argues that the place holds too many memories, such as the Barbarettes, the Burger Florists, and the Voiceograph. After this, Gaspard makes his way home but stops when he hears a woman singing in the distance. However, the captivating voice fails to lure him. However, Rosie notices him anyway, so she barges toward him and strikes up a conversation, asking about his love life. Gaspard simply replies that it's no good, then he quickly retreats to his room, where he warmly greets his cat, Johnny Cash. He spends the rest of the day reminiscing about Flower Burger's glory days as he flips through a book from the restaurant. Elsewhere, a fisherman succumbs to the captivating woman's voice, compelling him to drown himself in the water. The following morning, the voiceograph gets delivered to Gaspard's apartment, which means that Camille has decided to sell the flower burger. Gaspard swiftly roller skates his way to the restaurant, where he only hears an unapologetic response from his father. With no choice, Gaspard heads home, but he's forced to halt upon seeing a mermaid washed ashore. Despite his confusion, he carries the mermaid to the street, hailing cabs to take them to the hospital. However, no one notices them except for a pedicab driver. Gaspard then exchanges his roller skates for the pedicab and speeds to the hospital. At the hospital, Dr. Milena tells her boyfriend, Dr. Victor, that she might be pregnant. As the couple rejoices, someone summons Milena to help a patient, so she excuses herself to go. While she's away, Gaspard arrives and hurriedly sprints to the front desk. However, the staff refuses to assist him unless the patient has a health insurance card. As he tries to negotiate his way into getting help, Victor helps the mermaid in the cab. However, when she locks her gaze on him, she sings her lullaby, causing his heart to beat rapidly. Victor gasps in pain, so he makes his way back to the hospital. Meanwhile, Gaspard returns to the pedicab and speeds off, unintentionally leaving the flower burger book behind. At the hospital, Milena encounters Victor, who claims to have seen a mermaid. She chuckles at his statement, but her amusement quickly fades when Victor collapses onto the floor, causing her to take him to the emergency room. Meanwhile, Gaspard brings the mermaid to his apartment, not knowing that Rosie is watching him. He takes her to his bathtub, dresses her, then soaks her in water, but this wakes her up. Scared, the mermaid sings her lullaby, hoping to fend Gaspard off. However, unlike her other victims, he seems immune to her spell. Instead, he graciously tends to her needs, adjusting the water temperature to her liking and preparing a meal for her. While Gaspard cooks in the kitchen, Camille calls him, asking for help since the restaurant is suddenly full of customers. As he declines, his father hears a woman singing in the background, making him suspect that his son has a visitor. Gaspard then ends the call and delivers the food to the mermaid. However, he notices that her tail is bleeding, so he quickly tends to it. The mermaid tries singing her lullaby again, but Gaspard only vocalizes along with her. Realizing that he can be trusted, the mermaid introduces herself as Lula. After this, Gaspard feeds her, but Lula insists on going home. Gaspard says that she must heal first, but Lula asserts that she'll die if she doesn't return in two sunrises. However, the man remains resolute, saying that he'll take her home tomorrow. Meanwhile, Victor is dying, yet he still talks about Lula's voice. Soon, he flatlines, leaving his girlfriend mourning. The following morning, Milena confides with a colleague, saying that Victor seemed hypnotized before his death. The doctor adds that he had abnormally high nitrogen levels, as if he'd gone diving in deep waters. In the apartment, Gaspard sings his heart out while showering, forgetting that Lula is in the bathtub listening. She then asks him if he's a sailor, but Gaspard replies that he's only a shower crooner. In the hospital, Milena takes a pregnancy test that comes out positive. As she cries over this news, she receives Victor's presence behind her and instinctively embraces him. However, it turns out that she's just imagining things. 
Meanwhile, as Gaspard and Lula speak in the bathroom, Rosie eavesdrops on their conversation from next door. The mermaid reveals to Gaspard that men typically become infatuated with her upon hearing her voice, causing their hearts to explode. The man chuckles at the notion and candidly admits that his heart had already exploded long ago, leaving him emotionally numb. Lula warns that he might die soon, so he should take her back. However, Gaspard reassures her that he's immune. Elsewhere, Milena asks the receptionist if she noticed anything weird the other day. The lady merely hands her the flower burger book, saying that an edgy guy left it. Meanwhile, Gaspard swiftly arranges a portable mini theater for Lula, ensuring she has entertainment while he's away for work. After bidding her a quick farewell, he encounters Rozzy in the hallway, who curiously inquires about the woman dressed as a fish. However, Gaspard evades the question and speeds off. Elsewhere, Milena discovers traces of Lula's blue-colored blood in the driveway, accompanied by fragments of her scales. Unaware of the situation, Gaspard parks his vehicle nearby, hoping to retrieve the flower burger book at the front desk. When he goes to work afterward, Gaspard overhears a female co-worker humming Lula's song, but she dismisses it as simply being stuck in her head. Later, he speaks with Henry, one of his closest friends, saying that he wants to talk about something extraordinary. Meanwhile, Rosy takes Gaspard's keys under the mat and welcomes herself into his apartment. She speaks with Lula, thinking that she's just wearing a costume. She assumes that she's Gaspard's new girlfriend, knowing that he has a penchant for singers. Rosy reveals Gaspard's backstory, emphasizing the significance of understanding the flower burger to truly know him. Gaspard's grandmother, Sylvia Snow, founded the restaurant in the 1940s as a covert haven for resistance fighters. During that period, Sylvia also created the Voiceograph, a device used for coded message transmission. Interestingly, she also utilized it to immortalize declarations of love between her and her husband. Rosie continues, mentioning that the Flower Burger books holds the history of the Surprisers, which Sylvia passed down to Gaspard before her death. Rosie then shares with Lula that being part of the secret society meant embracing a life of wonder and panache, a word denoting the pursuit of beauty and doing things for the sheer joy of it. However, Lula wonders why she's telling her all this, so Rosy explains that Gaspard is losing touch with the ability to love, and she believes that Lula can help him rediscover this. Not long after, Rosy makes her leave. Elsewhere, Milena asks her colleague to look into the blood that she found on the driveway. There, she learns that whatever creature this belongs to is completely unknown, and it's not possible for it to survive away from the ocean's depths as it carries low oxygen levels. Meanwhile, Gaspard sadly informs Camille about losing the Flower Burger book. Camille sees this as a sign for him to move on, so Gaspard breaks down, seeking comfort in his father's arms. During this, Lula accidentally causes a fire after playing with Rosie's cigarettes, which she unknowingly left behind. When Gaspard receives the urgent call from Rosie, he immediately heads to his apartment. Elsewhere, Milena reads from the newspapers that a mermaid has been spotted in Paris. When firemen arrive, Lula enchants them. Upon hearing her siren call, Rosie realizes that Lula is an actual mermaid, which urges her to leave in a hurry. She bumps into Gaspard on her way out, but doesn't stay to speak with him. Upon entering his apartment, Gaspard discovers that the fire has already been extinguished. The entranced firemen warn him to be careful when smoking, then hand the man a cigarette container, unmistakably belonging to Rosie. As soon as they leave, Gaspard searches for Lula, and he eventually finds her huddled under his bed, trembling with fear. Despite this, he reprimands her for the mess she caused. Gaspard decides to take her to Rosie's place, entrusting Lula's care to her while he tends to pressing matters. He assures Lula that he'll return her to the water once his tasks are resolved, unwittingly confirming Rosie's suspicions regarding the young mermaid's true nature. As Gaspard leaves, Rosie tries calming him down because he looks quite pale. However, the man remains determined to leave. Unbeknownst to them, he returns to his home, grieving over the family heirlooms that were consumed by the fire. After this, he returns to Rosie's apartment and speaks with Lula, informing her that he'll take her back to the water. He asks what she'd like to do before leaving, and she replies that she wants Persian fish and a shower crooner song. As they sing together, Gaspard realizes they must record their song in the voiceograph. With this, they return to Gaspard's room and sing a duet that he made for her. In this heartfelt moment, Gaspard almost kisses the mermaid, but they get interrupted by the sound of the finished recording. Just then, Gaspard feels his chest tighten, concerning Lula as it seems like he's falling in love with her. The man dismisses the thought, saying that he's not her type and that she knows nothing about love. 
With this, the mermaid asks what love feels like, and Gaspard replies that it's joy and pain. Meanwhile, one of the firemen gets admitted to the hospital after hearing Lula's voice. The man relentlessly speaks about her in the emergency room, triggering Milena to interrogate him. The nurse intervenes, leaving her no choice but to leave and uncover the truth on her own. At the apartment, Gaspard suggests that they visit the flower burger, and after that, he'll return her to the water at midnight. Overhearing this, Rozzy wants them to get glammed up for the occasion. With this, she assists Lula in getting dolled up. Later, the two head to the flower burger, where Lula meets Camille, who merely thinks that she's an opera singer in a wheelchair. There, Gaspard and Lula enjoy the good food and music, all while getting acquainted with one another. Unbeknownst to them, Milena is on her way to the flower burger, using the book as a guide. Lula soon helps herself with liquor, claiming that she has a high tolerance for it. She then reveals that when she becomes entangled in fishermen's nets, she drinks their alcohol after killing them. This sparks Gaspard's interest, so he asks if any of them ever survived. Lula says no, admitting that a desire for revenge overtook her after her mother died. Back then, a sailor tried stealing her scales, so Lula's mother attacked him. However, he stabbed her in the heart. Gaspard sympathizes with her loss, saying that he lost his mother too. Lula sighs, claiming that she could have saved her mother if she had her song back then. Now that she's the last living mermaid, she has to use her song to defend herself. Wanting to uplift the mood, Gaspard redirects the conversation, asking Lula how many men she's killed. The atmosphere gradually lightens, and they proceed to dance to the song they recorded in the voiceograph. As the night unfolds, they sway under the gentle spotlight, feeling as though they're the only two people in the world. Meanwhile, Milena finds herself pondering the whereabouts of the flower burger, unaware of its exclusivity to surprisers. When she reads aloud the hidden code from the book, a waitress takes notice and guides her to the true location of the flower burger. When she gets there, she hands the book to Henry, asking if he knows who owns it. Unbeknownst to Milena, Gaspard has already left with Lula. The two drive to a peaceful location where he can see a stunning view of the Eiffel Tower. There, they play the harmonica together and continue conversing before Lula's departure. Later, Gaspard takes Lula to an aquarium as he's not ready to let her go. He watches her glide in the water, but when he decides to join her, he almost drowns as his chest tightens again. With this, Lula breathes air into his mouth and quickly takes him back to the surface. When the sun rises, Gaspard finally takes the mermaid Lula to the docks. However, he musters the courage to let her go, but he can't bear it. He pleads with her to stay, and if she thinks of this as too much, he compromises to learn how to scuba dive to be with her. However, Lula remains resolute and thinks he'll die if she doesn't leave. Not ready to face the truth, Gaspard takes Lula to one last destination. He brings her to his apartment, where he goes all out and stages a magnificent theater play, complete with elaborate props and decorations. Lula is amused by Gaspard's dedication and enjoys the spectacle. However, she suddenly requests a real fish. Oblivious to her true intentions, Gaspard eagerly fulfills her request, not knowing that she intends to escape for his own good. This pains her dearly, causing her to cry pearls out of her eyes. As Gaspard departs, Rosie hears Lula calling out. She goes to see the mermaid, who pleads to help her escape, or else Gaspard will die. Shortly after, Gaspard returns with the fish and additional presents, only to discover Milena and her associate collecting Lula's scales in his bathroom. Angered, he demands to know where Lula is, but before receiving a response, he unexpectedly loses consciousness. Later, Milena and her colleague take Gaspard to the hospital, but they keep it a secret. Beside him is a small tub holding Lula, who has grown increasingly frail due to her prolonged separation from the ocean. Despite her weakened state, Milena persists in collecting blood samples from her, which leads to a heated argument between her and her colleague. In a fit of rage, Milena screams at her colleague, demanding him to leave. Once alone with Lula, she makes the mermaid feel guilty over killing Victor. To further torment Lula, she cruelly asserts that her actions will cause Gaspard's death as well. Just then, someone urges Milena to report to a patient, not knowing that it's Rossi causing a distraction. Rossi then wakes Gaspard and together they take Lula out of the hospital. However, their escape doesn't go unnoticed for long as Milena realizes she's been deceived. To Milena's frustration, Gaspard has already left with Lula by the time she gets outside. She then demands to know their destination from Rozzy, justifying that Gaspard can die at any moment. Concerned, Rozzy reveals that they're headed to the docks by the flower burger. 
Without wasting any time, Milena swiftly drives to the docks, only to find nothing there. Suddenly, she receives a tip from her assistant, revealing that Gaspard is actually headed to the Seine River. Meanwhile, Gaspard stops at a shop before proceeding to the Seine. There, he purchases a set of walkie-talkies so he can keep talking to the mermaid while he drives. As he continues their escape, he keeps recalling the beautiful moments he shared with Lula, causing him more pain. As the sun rises, they finally reach the Seine, where Gaspard musters all his remaining strength to carry Lula to the water. However, before letting her go, they save her one last kiss. Then, upon Lula's departure, Gaspard falls unconscious in the water. Fortunately, Milena discovers the unconscious man by the shore. Despite her urge to capture Lula, she sees Victor through Gaspard, encouraging her to rescue the poor man. With this, she resuscitates the man, saving him from the brink of death. Days later, a biologist sends Gaspard a package containing the pearls from Lula's tears, informing him that this rare treasure is rightfully his because it was shed for him. With the pearls in his possession, Gaspard buys the flower burger from Camille, using it as a means for him to start fresh and explore uncharted horizons. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.